About half a million people die every year just in the United States because of cancer. Currently, the tests that they have to go through are either expensive or invasive or painful, and this makes it difficult for them to go through these tests frequently. Micro and nanotechnology uh, have enabled certain capabilities that just were not available to, to people before. This method that we uh, are, are working on uh, hunts down these little cells uh, just from a blood sample. Lab on a chip is a very general concept, basically miniaturization of chemical and or biological analysis on a relatively small platform which is conveniently called a chip. Many of these uh, devices that we fabricate are fabricated using the same techniques that are used to fabricate uh, uh, microprocessors, for example. Uh, and uh, so we also call them chips, even though they may not be electronic devices. They do all sorts of functions uh, from catching molecules, amplifying DNA, visualizing cells. We have a lab on a chip system that can detect very rare tumor cells present in the blood sample of a cancer patient. Basically capturing these cells and bringing them down onto a chip surface and allowing the user to visualize these cells using fluorescent microscopy. You can count them, just their number gives you information about whether the disease is coming back. You can further take these cells and you can culture them and you can test drugs on them in the lab before trying the drug on the patient himself. Personalized therapy, specific just for that person. It may not work well on another, in another patient, but on that particular patient, it will work. It basically allows you to uh, do this biopsy without having to cut into the person to remove a solid tumor. It's all based on a blood test. It could be a total game changer, and all of that from a blood sample. The stakes are very high, actually. You can make huge impact on people's quality of life. What else can you really ask for, right? I and mean, that's really the biggest uh, motivator uh, for me at the moment.